I'm not so sure. Straight off the unbelievable uh, run in the World Cup, Morocco are minus three, three, three. And now this is another thing I want to be educated is because in Europe we say Tanzania. But my friends, when I spoke to the squad in Z uh, the Zambia squad before they left for the Ari Coast, they said it's Tanzania. So again, if I have butchered it, then please take uh, my apologies. But you're still plus 1,025 to beat Morocco. Uh, they're minus 175, not even to score. The draw is at plus 390. But I feel as if Kwaku, everyone's just going to turn up and think Morocco are going to win this game. I've got this being under maybe under two and a half goals, maybe at minus one one. I just think it's going to be tighter than most people think. Well, that's where me and you part ways, Flash, because I think that Morocco are going to absolutely walk this one against Tanzania. I've got them over 2.5 goals, and I think they, they are, for me, the favourites for this tournament. I really, really like this Morocco really? team, and it seems like it's, it's the culmination of... Uh, of a journey, of a story. This is the Morocco team that over, just over a year ago got to the semi-final of a World Cup. And we know it's well documented how great their players are. And I just think that this Morocco team are going to just have a little bit too much uh, for Tanzania. And I just, I, I really, really like the options that they've got. Maybe their, their prowess doesn't lie in their attacking players, but as a result of them being able to maintain possession and keep the ball, I think that they're going to squeeze Tanzania and I think it's going to be a, be a heavy win for Morocco in their first game at AFCON. Yeah, I just don't see where the goals are coming from. And this is the other thing. They're going to have to uh, change their tactics completely because all of a sudden, they're the big dogs. They're the shark in the swimming pool because of how well they did against the South Americans, against the Europeans. And now all of a sudden, I mean, listen, they were only like 90 minutes away from a World Cup final. Now they come in here. Everyone's going to show them respect. I'm not sure they've got enough in because last time it was a case of stay in the game and we'll take our chance. And they listen, they were absolutely brilliant and it was great. Everyone was cheering them on. But now they've got to be the aggressor. They've got to be the ones that create. Uh, Zach, have you got Morocco being able to create and score the chances when they come along? Yeah, I'm with Kwaku. I'm I'm going all in on this Morocco team. I think that uh, minus 333, not great odds, but I'm going to go all in, like I said. I'm going to go it with the handicap for Morocco. I just think that this team, uh, yes, you know, as you mentioned, they are going to have to adapt from, you know, no longer having to hit on the counter and sit deep like they did against likes of Spain and Portugal. But, or anyone, uh, anybody. Of course, but this is still a very competent team. I think that they're going to prove that uh, 2022 was no flash in the pan. They've done what no African side before them has done by reaching the World Cup semifinals. I think they have a better chance than ever as they look to win their first AFCON title since 1976. Arguably the best goalkeeper on the continent in Bono, a stellar midfield in the likes of Azadine Unahi and Sofian Amrabat, a team that's going to have the confidence to come out and push for goals. They're such a versatile opponent. They can break you down and transition they can keep possession amid pressure and patiently build out from the back they can wreak havoc on set pieces they can go direct route one football i think we're going to see a strong combination of free-flowing attacking football as well as a disciplined defensive setup i'm taking morocco with the handicap here yeah, listen, I'm not disrespecting Morocco. I'm just really interested to see how they adjust to the respect that they've earned because these teams are not going to want... They're going to be like, right, OK, this team, they've basically... They've lived every African country's dream. Um, and now they're the flag bearers, but they're not the African mm -hmm. nation's holders. So they've got to make another step. So what, what I'm saying is, what's the be what is their, uh, their their big event? Getting to the semi final of the World Cup, or going deep in Afcon and not win it? Because all of a sudden, all the good work you've done has been undone. But it's down to the opposition that are going to show them so much respect that it's going to be every single yard is going to be have to be earned. And when the chances come along, then Nezri wants to be right on the ball. Really interested in this game. Really interested. Because they don't create many chances, but when they come along... And by the way, one of my favourite footballers in the last 10 years, uh, Hakimi. Uh, I hope he has a great tournament. Uh, here we go. Let's have a little look at the official picks, please. Because you can see... I've got out of here. But the boys, Morocco and over two and a half at plus 120. A lot of well, the numbers are telling you that it will have to be 3 0. And Morocco, minus 1.5 at minus 107. That gets Zach away with a 2 0. But for me, uh, it's a watching brief.